All right. Hi, I'm John LaMancha, president for Kisa. Uh, Kisa is in the business of doing a very high-speed wireless connector um, that can go up to six gigabits per second in a very small three millimeter by three millimeter piece of silicon. Traditional wired connectors have a variety of problems. They have reliability issues, they can cause electrical interference, they often uh, will not work in the presence of, of dirt, or, and they can just break. By replacing connectors with our wireless technology, we can solve all those problems at very high speed with no interference with other uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth systems because we operate in the 60 gigahertz band. So, so here you have a demo? Yes, absolutely. Well, here, let's start with the chip demo. Right. So here we have our chip. I put this in the transmit mode and this in the receive mode. And you can see you bring them together and they connect. Take them apart and they disconnect. No software, no drivers. They just work because they are next to each other, exactly like a physical connector. So this can be used for a variety of protocols. We can do Ethernet, DisplayPort, USB 3, USB 2, PCI Express. Any protocol that goes up to six gigabits per second can go over our wireless link and be transmitted with no loss of data. Fact, HDMI? We can do HDMI. Uh, again, any high-speed serial protocol can be sent across our link. So here's an example of our technology being used for video walls. We have one cabinet of the video wall transmitting video to the other using Ethernet. And by just separating them, you see our two chips are being used to connect the two panels. Put them together, and it works. Take them apart, and they disconnect. No, no connectors, no cables. It makes video wall setup very, very easy. And you're also in commercial devices, uh, uh, like consumer. That's correct. So the LG V50 phone, LG's dual display phone, uses the Kisa technology to transmit high-speed DisplayPort video from the phone to the case. To the secondary display. Oh, that's correct. So you can see the phone is separated, just a few pogo pins for power, and the Kisa receiver is in the case. The Kisa transmitter is inside the phone, and when the user just pops the phone in the case and opens it back up, then the second display is illuminated, and that's going across our Kisa wireless link at 5.4 gigabits per second. And by using the second display, users can enjoy a variety of added features. For instance, going into landscape mode will cause the, the, the keyboard to light up. And by going into game mode, you can create a game controller to now play games in the second display by using the controller in the lower display. All of this enabled with the Kisa wireless technology. So it's a little bit like a wireless HDMI? Well, HDMI is very centered around video transmission. The Kisa technology can do any protocol. So we can do data, we can do audio, video, anything. And uh, is it... Um, so it's going to be, for example, great if you want to do lab docs, connect maybe a phone to a larger display, like similar to that? Exactly. So we have a variety of customers that are using it for exactly that, taking their small device, dropping it wirelessly into a dock where it can wirelessly charge as well as send wireless video across to do second display, to do external peripherals, external storage. In fact, Fujitsu is launching a, a ruggedized tablet that uses the Kisa technology to go into a dock and transmit all that information to the peripheral devices. Uh, sometimes if you use a Type-C connector, you might get a little bit more bandwidth, right? Ten, they're talking about 10 gigabit right now? So, Is there any chance you might match that? So absolutely. So the Kisa technology, one chip can go up to 6 gigabits per second. But because the connection is point to point from one chip to the other, we can gang multiple chips together to do as much bandwidth as you need. Wow. In fact, we have one demonstration 
of an uncompressed video connector being hooked up with 32 of our KISA devices, each one going at 3 gigabits per second V by 1 to create an aggregate bandwidth of 96 gigabits of uncompressed wireless 8K video. So that's really cool. So that's the way you scale, it's just more and more chips. Exactly. Could you make a chip that itself could do more or is limited to this? Uh, yes, so in certainly physically. in our roadmap we are looking at expanding the capability of our device to go even faster. Um, but right now, given the, the speed of USB 3, the speed of Ethernet, 6 gigabits is covering a huge variety of applications. So you say wireless, but actually it's touching, right? Well, so. One of the advantages of our technology is that it doesn't have to be exactly touching. It just needs to be close. So our connection can work about a centimeter in distance and about a millimeter and a half in X and Y. So it has much more mechanical tolerance than a normal connector. They just have to be close to each other. So um, you're pretty much talking with the whole industry right now? or I'm The whole industry is in a dialogue? Yes, you know, one of the challenges uh, for us is which customers do we serve first? Uh, connectors are in everything. It's over a $60 billion market, and we can essentially replace any mechanical connector in any system. So that goes for automotive, where we're in production, in medical and robotics, where we ha we're in production, in consumer electronics, uh, in displays, in PCs and tablets. Uh, a really a huge number of applications for our technology. Uh, those poker pins is on the V50 or the V8? No, which one? Uh, V50. V50. Is that the light out, latest one? Uh, no, this was at uh, this particular one I'm showing you was demonstrated at last year's Mobile World Congress. Last year. So, but it'd be nice if uh, one of the companies like LG just put them in the, all their phones. Yes. It needs to become a new standard, right? Well, so that's one of the potentials. Right now, I think we're looking at both external and internal connectors. So I think the standards are certainly possible, and we welcome the opportunity to work with a variety of vendors to do that. How about, uh, it'd be nice if you had a wireless charger that also had your connection, so you could charge with the Qi wireless charge, or do you actually charge also? So our technology doesn't do Only power. data but we certainly are often used in, in concert with a wireless power connection because doing wireless power and wireless data at the same time means you could now create a completely sealed device, uh, a phone with absolutely no connectors on it that just relies on wireless power and our technology for wireless high-speed data. So you just put it in a wireless charger and boom, it makes the desktop display at the same time that it's charging Exactly. And there's no need to plug something exactly. in. Exactly. So you just drop it into the cradle and you have your complete compute environment with no connections at all. Is there any way that you follow the specs of the USB uh, in terms of whatever is the latest USB you will support it also? Absolutely. So we are continuing to increase our technology speed. As I said, to go to uh, either USB 4 or Thunderbolt 3, it's just a matter of using more of our chips to increase the bandwidth, and you can attain any of those bandwidths of these new specs. HDMI 2.1. Absolutely. Any, 48 anything gigabit. Anything. Mm -hmm. Cool.